return to the meadow. For a year, we stayed home. Please all be responsible. No to stray too far afield, quite reprehensible. We learned to see in 2D as we gaze glazed at our screens, forgetting what real life looks like outside of our dreams. In our towns and our cities, nature poked through the cracks between flagstone and brick. Maintenance became lax. But how can it be right we denaturalise the living when it is plants and it is nature who are constantly giving oxygen to our lungs while evoking our senses, making us feel alive, breaking down our defences. To visit the meadows, now that we can, sparks joy in our soul, most essential for man. We notice those details which had fled our attention. Our escape from the town eases much of the tension. Watch grasses stand tall, their heads fluffy and tactile, their spectrum of shades force an unwitting smile. See golden flashes dance merry on the breeze, sent drifting on pollen, yet oddly no sneeze. Wish to stay in this moment, here and now, lest it changes. Belsag's farm, here in Sladeburn, the meadow of our ages. Follow the call of the curlew, watch where the swift soar. Geese point the way with an arrow across the field of fallen clouds. Go into Belsyke's meadow. Can you spot the flora? Here be our home, said Timothy to his sweet vernal maid. We can shelter beneath the meadow crane's bill. There is bed straw fit for a lady and a mantle to shield you from rain. Dress yourself in ladies' smocks. Silver grows like weeds in there. We shall suck nectar from red clover and feast on pignut roots in sorrel sauce. Served on a platter of plantain leaves with wild strawberry for dessert. We shall breathe the scent of meadow sweet, keep well with self heal, beautiful with eye bright, a rattle for the baby, mouse ear to wipe away her tears. We have a dog for company, I spy the crest of his tail. Feast our eyes on orchids, early purple, marsh and spotted. So come my love, Germander, speed well, we must leave time. There's haze on the hills as morning light lays lines across the sky. Among the slowly wakening buttercups, Straggle fleeced sheep stand to graze. From the second field, warming air now brings a yeasty smell of drying hay. A curlew cries, rises, the answering call speeds it on its way. In the high woods, a game bird crakes. Beneath all runs the whimpering swish of unseen stream. By moss-stoned wall, red campion and nettles, leafy cranesbill and tight-furled meadowsweet compete to reach the sky. But by the gate, cow parsley outgrows them all. The sun, a silver disc, burns through the veil, turns the western sky white tumbled blue, sets the grass green sorrel russet field aglow with open cups of gold and purple puffs of clover. Then a graceful ballet, five swallows make it summer. <laughs>